Hello YouTube, long time no see. This video is going to be a digression from my typical style of video because normally I don't really talk about personal experiences, give personal anecdotes unless it's relevant to making a point. But over the holidays I went to visit my family in the south and there were several experiences that I just want to talk about and roll up into one video. Now I am from, as the conservatives lovingly refer to it, the liberal bastion in the northeast. That's where I grew up, although I did live for several years in the Midwest and so I certainly notice the cultural differences when I go to the southern states and it is as they say the Bible Belt one of the first experiences that I want to talk about was driving on the highway and I saw I kept seeing all these church vans uh, going down 24 and I go to a restaurant, and the only way I can describe this restaurant, it's like an authentic version of Cracker Barrel. So I'm at the restaurant, and a group of people come in, and right off the bat, I'm looking at them, and it's like, these are stereotypical Jesus freak type people. But then one of them, I, I kind of recognize. I'm like, who is this person? And I look, and I look, and then suddenly it occurs to me, who this person is or who I'm almost positive the person is. The Amazing Believer. Now if you don't remember The Amazing Believer, I've made video responses to him in the past, but he's he was a relatively young at the time evangelical Christian and it turns out all these people were going to some sort of college youth conference, Christian youth conference in Atlanta and uh, so I was sitting like a table away from the amazing believer, although he mostly had his back turned to me and I don't think he recognized me and I didn't say anything to him, but it was just a very bizarre experience. While I was down there, I also visited Nashville, which was, well, exactly what I expected. Being the mecca of country music, the main area which I went to, Broadway, was lined with bars and clubs, which all had live country music. I think it's just some obligatory thing that every bar on Broadway must have a live country music act. I ended up uh, going to a bar that, that had several bluegrass bands playing. I actually like bluegrass. And the, the, to clarify, I'm not some sort of I despise country music sort of person. Uh, my taste in country music is, oddly enough, uh, pretty much in line with my grandfather. I, I like Hank Williams. Uh, Hank 3 is probably one of the only more modern country acts that I like like Robbie Martinson and um, Johnny Cash, uh, Johnny Horton, and some other old-timey stuff like that. Nashville was an alright city, and um, yeah, if country music is your thing, go there, I guess. I don't know. But while I was there at the... Um, the place, the the parking lot for the car, going in there to uh, to pay for parking. The guy had all of these Obama, like anti-Obama and anti-Democrat things, stickered to the um, the counter of the shop, and it really reminded me, like, wow, I am in a red state, as they say. The South. Again, being from the Northeast, this, the South, it's, it really, they, you really have to be there to understand what Bible Belt and Red State, like what these terms mean. There is a, a sort of almost palpable sense of, of disdain for Obama amongst a lot of people, and a lot more people wear religion on their sleeve. Uh, in the Northeast, where I come from, it's, I mean, the people are religious, there are churches, people go to the churches, but it's not, it's not the sort of big deal and public spectacle that it is in the South. Uh, in several places, uh, along the highways, I saw these giant crosses. There must be this manufacturer, because they all looked very similar, if not the same, uh, these giant crosses. And I think there must be some, like, giant cross manufacturer uh, for churches that have churches along the highway. To give you another example, I stopped at this gas station slash Dairy Queen, where 
they were playing Christian rock music and I know I made an entire video about this but uh, I I hate Christian rock I really do and the one song in particular that was playing it was like I thought of making this satirical video of how to make Christian rock music music with you know uh, sections like how to plagiarize the Bible for song lyrics but the Dairy Queen had a statue of Jesus behind the counter and uh, again the, the Christian rock music playing in the place. Another thing that I saw on billboards on 24 on the way to Nashville were uh, billboards for a gun shop featuring guns. And, you know, that's another thing. It's, you know, anti-Obama, Jesus, guns. It's exactly what you would expect it to be, really. Another thing about the South that I think uh, if you've never been there, if you are from outside of America or for whatever reason that I don't think a lot of people understand is that the Civil War still looms large. And for people in the North, the Civil War ended at Appomattox Courthouse. But I think for a lot of people in the South, it, it never really ended in that they're just biding their time or something. And so I'm at my mother's house and she's introducing me to her neighbor who is a complete good old boy with this thick southern drawl. And so my mother's asking him, oh yeah, what about, uh, wasn't there a civil war battle near here? And, and apparently there was a skirmish, you know, like a few hundred yards from uh, my mother's house. And uh, so uh, started talking a little bit about the civil war and, you know, General Sherman's campaign through the south. And he says, and I, I'm paraphrasing here that, you know, a lot of people still got feelings about, you know, the, you know, what, what he did in the Civil War and stuff like that. Basically saying that a lot of Southern people haven't gotten over the Civil War. Now, okay, fair enough. I've known that for a long time. I, I, I have a lot of, pretty much my entire, uh, you know, half of my family is from the south lives in the south this ain't, this is not my first trip to the south by a long shot and i've known for a long time that people in the south are not quite over the civil war but this is the kicker and this was one of those moments where i wish that i had like just recorded every conversation i ever have or certain conversations so we were talking about uh django unchained which we had seen a few days before and uh, in the process of this conversation, this good old boy uh, from the South, uh, the one who 10 minutes earlier had just explained that there were still people bitter over General Sherman and the Civil War, said, again, this is a paraphrase, you know, uh, I don't understand why black people are still upset over slavery. Right. Okay, so... For those of you who, you know, failed history, General Sherman and the Civil War and, you know, slavery and the end of slavery, that was the same time period, right? Okay? So it's okay for white Southerners to still be like, oh, goddamn General Sherman burned down the South and all oh, these carpet bagging, da da da, the Northern da 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 da. But if black people, African Americans, are still upset over slavery. Oh my, why don't they just get over it by now? Um, the hypocrisy was just so unintentionally hilarious and yet disheartening at the same time that I wish it had just been like, had it recorded and then be like, oh really? Well, cause 10 minutes ago, you said that white people were still upset over the civil war, but uh, there's no, there's not this huge like bitterness over the Civil War in the North the way there is in the South. Um, it's a, it's just almost a, I wouldn't say a quite complete cultural reversal because there's plenty of gun-toting rednecks and that sort of thing in the in the North as well and people who despise Obama and all of the Bible thumpers. Although there's not quite the as overt display of religion, but. It, it was almost, uh, I wouldn't say almost like being in another world, but it, it definitely distinct cultural differences between, you know, the environment I grew up in and 
the South. But uh, that is all the interesting slash amusing slash boring, if that's your point of view, anecdotes I have for today. Peace.